It's the 2nd of October 2011, and if you're watching me on youtube.com stroke top gold, you're seeing the face of a Swiss model with an alpaca. And I'm burning gold back in my back garden, looking at the Sunday Times and the Sunday Business Post. Spectrum Magazine has all these great ops objects every week, photos, and I enjoy starting these short takes of the news by looking at images. I'm over on WWW Inside View at I with words videos at YouTube. My nickname around the web normally is Top Cold, and you're probably listening to me on Audible at Top Cold. Front page of Sunday Times magazine. Some stuff here of you guys in Thailand, Cambodia. Cuts, cuts, cuts on the way. Uh, Irish presidential elections on the way. And Sour McInerney is a small piece here about the welfare rate at wage. 28,000 euro documents say that. So, like, you have to get above 28,000 euro if you're a parent with kids because. Welfare benefits will pay a lot more than that, or pay at least that. Job bridge, can't get paid very well doing that, but it's an internship program in Ireland. Colin Coyle and Kira Kenny asked questions about it. Um, the ISME, the Irish Small and Medium Enterprise Group, Mark Fielding, says that um, it's not hard to find companies who advertise in internships but can't fill them. And a lot, some of those jobs lead to uh, some of those internships lead to jobs. Amazon fights app iPad with Fire. James Aston, Sean O'Driscoll, New York, take the story up. A few days before Apple announced its new devices, evidence suggests there's room for both Apple and the Amazon tablet. Forecast from Infinite, Infinite Research predict in January, tablet market will increase to about 147 million units. By 2015, I've got fourth-year students who don't think tablets are going to be part of their work kit in 2015. I think they're wrong. Front page of Sunday Business Post. They're finding social workers paid up to 110 euro an hour, and they're special kids. They're taking care of kids in foster care, kids at risk. Crunch time for ministers and budgetary spending cuts. Pat Leahy, political editor of the Sunday Business Post, points out total cuts. At least 1.7 billion in current spending, 400 million in capital projects. Inside the Sunday Business Post, done deal. Classified website, done deal. Significant investment deal with a Norwegian firm, Shipstead Media. We like done deal. It's making money for us. Mark Little, million euro with funding deal. Gavin Daly has a story about Mark. Sealed a funding deal worth over a million euro. Mark's with Storyful.com. I like what he's doing. I'm hoping we'll have storyful stuff being put in use by my first year students in media writing. Summer's attacks, Lenahan aids, the Post reporter says, the Nash, former National Treasury Management Agency chief, Michael Summers, has uh, various things he's going to say in a one to one broadcast interview, RT Radio at 11.40 p.m., worth listening to tomorrow night. It's Monday. 3rd of October. We'll tune into that. Lots of things left unsaid about how Ireland got its, into its mess. Seven up for the Irish. It's a presidential election. I circled Michael D. Higgins. My vote's with Michael. Although I won't vote as American in Ireland. I think he's going to win. Tune in. For full facts about the fat tax, Susan Mitchell, health correspondent, gives a listing of obesity in Ireland. I'm trying to teach the power of lists to my first year students. Irish levels of obesity are among the highest in the world, 38%, including me. The Irish population are overweight. Maybe even the Minister for Finance. The Black September Dark Night for Ireland. Tom McGurk takes up the story again, looking at what's going to happen to the official record. It's going to be more than 30 years before the official version is made public. Uh, Brian Lennon's died already, Minister in charge of the decision to take on a gigantic debt. And now we have deficits continuing and budget cuts, just part of life. David McWilliams has a part of life stagnation, 21st century style. Dreadfully overvalued currency compared to major trading partners. Since you can't re really devalue what happens to Ireland, you grind down wages and austerity will kick in. So maybe we'll go to a bike. Frank and Astrid Fitzpatrick are co-managing directors of the Dutch bike shop. They've got used gear from the Netherlands. I might get one of them. Take the kids around on the messenger bike. 
Digital input's going to need new working practices, says Noel Kern. Martha Kearns writes about what the Director General of RT wants. Changes, fundamental change in the way programs are conceived and made. A new RT digital division. You know, just get some advice from Mark Little. I bet he could take you to the next level. Digital drives future of paper. Linda Daly writes it after the um, company Hewlett Packard bought half of the Sunday Business Post Day, it seems. My point is, very few people think about the cloud services behind this HP e-printing service. I mean, we're printing photo albums on the back of HP e-printing and loving it. Jennifer O'Connor, good piece here in the off-message section of Agenda magazine. She points out Ireland's 22nd in the world when you look at the best uh, places for women, best countries for women. And she explains why. Uh, worth reading, the article worth reading. Ten technologies worth reading too. Computer and Business magazines, first of every uh, some Sunday of every month. Here's number one. NFC, near field communication. Number two, cloud computing. Number three, mobile services. So I like the mobile phone that's recording this, the Xperia Arc, and my Kindle. Necessary to get the rest of those, go to www.edgecasting.ie, and I'll list all ten of them for my students. Hint. Technologies like this, which can pull 15 megs a second over the air, probably part of the, the answer. It's so a move in your pocket. Cool article here, in the test bench, the Sunday Times Best Buy. They list the Kodak PlaySport ZX5 for 115 euro for its sporty looks and removal SD. The article is by Dave Stevenson. Everybody needs a pocket HD camera system. And that might be the one we're going to get later on. Kodak Play Sport. Back Garden. I love my marigolds. We'll leave you behind with the um, sight of the Southern Lights as the International Space Station runs across from Madagascar to the northern side of Australia. We're going to go back. Check it out. Come for further stroke Irish eyes from where it is. Stand by for now.